Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be consulting the Animal Kingdom once again for the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia by examining the Mogu Mogu no Mi. The Mogu Mogu no Mi is a Zoan type fruit that allows its user to transform into a mole as well as a human mole hybrid. In the series, it was eaten by Miss Merry Christmas, a member of Baroque Works, and first took the stage during the Alabaster Arc. Mogu is a shortened version of Mogura, which is the Japanese word for mole, which also happens to bear strong similarity to the verb Moguru, which means to go underneath something, which is very, very applicable to the digging habit of moles. Speaking of digging, we have another of what I would call horrendously bad translations of this devil fruit, spawning from the Four Kids dub, who decided to call it the Diggy Diggy Fruit. And this time around we have quite a complicated reason for the change actually, because it all started when four kids changed the name of Miss Merry Christmas to Miss Groundhog's Day, which also included changing her Zoan powers into a groundhog rather than a mole. In which case calling it the Mole Mole Fruit no longer fit, and the Groundhog Groundhog Fruit obviously doesn't have that great ring to it. So hey, they landed on uh, Diggy Diggy. It's like getting trapped in a web of lies, really. You tell one lie and then you have to lie again to keep the first lie consistent, and then eventually you implode and your horrible dub company breaks down and files for bankruptcy. Bankruptcy. Twice. You know, that old tale. But sadly, this translation was also passed into the Viz manga, but as per usual, the fashionably late to the party Funimation was able to fix this for their dub and simply called it the Mole Mole Fruit. Now, as many of you may have picked up on by now, by far the greatest advantage that the Mogu Mogu no Mi has to offer comes in the form of digging. Now, generally, according to established mole facts, this creature is able to dig at a rate of about four and a half meters per hour. And I'd say, yeah, that's pretty good for using your bare hands. But the digging powers granted by the Mogu Mogu no Mi differ incredibly, allowing the user to dig just about anywhere they want near instantaneously. In fact, I'd compare the digging abilities of the Mogu Mogu no Mi with the general act of swimming. This is largely due to the impressive claws granted by the fruit, which appear in both full mole and human and mole hybrid form. Not only are they powerful enough to dig at absurd speeds, but they are also able to slice through harder substances such as rocks as if they were the geological equivalent of butter encountering a warm knife. So this obviously lends itself to most professions involving any sort of destruction or excavation. Although I'd say that the Mogu Mogu no Mi only really lends itself to mass excavation rather than more detailed work due to the nature of the ginormous claws. They really aren't made for detailed work at all, so that's somewhat limiting. However, there are a wide variety of industries where these abilities would be beneficial, such as construction, plumbing, and even grave digging. Furthermore, in the world of One Piece, this devil fruit could be put to incredible use by burrowing undersea tunnels between islands, particularly in the Grand Line where sailing above the water presents incredible dangers. And we even know that this is possible to perform thanks to Gadatsu's cover story in which he encountered a giant mole known as the Dirt Boss who dug an undersea tunnel to the nation of Alabaster. And speaking of giant moles, I think that's a decent segue to discuss the potential awakening of the Mogu Mogu no Mi. Sadly, I can't use manga material, but here is a lazy rendering of what the Dirt Boss looks like, which is pretty much what I imagine the awakened outcome of this devil fruit would be, just with a bit more of a human element involved, which would be a pretty damn terrifying creature, really. Very much capable of ripping the average person to shreds in an instant should it desire, which is always something to keep in mind, as moles are indeed carnivorous. I mean, they generally eat worms, but a super massive mole may be more adventurous with its diet, so the awakened user would certainly need to get that under control. But once that's all said and done, an awakened user of the Mogu Mogu no Mi would probably be able to revolutionize the landscape of the world as we know it, digging tunnels all over the Grand Line, and possibly even even out into the four blue seas in order to provide a safer method of travel for the inhabitants of the world, which would be a far more effective way to bring an end to the great age of piracy rather than actively trying to arrest pirates. But with that, let's examine how this fruit was used in the series by Miss Merry Christmas. As an agent of Baroque work, she used the powers of the Mogu Mogu no Mi mainly for combat, which given those horrific looking claws is a pretty fair use, I'd say. Miss Merry Christmas has a variety of punchy, swipey attacks, but she also makes use of her digging powers to construct a series of tunnels on any given battlefield she ends up on in order to provide herself with a a terrain advantage. And finally, Miss Merry Christmas has a particularly brutal use of the Mogu Mogu no Mi, whereby she grabs an opponent and smashes them into a wall at great speeds, which just sounds painful. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a mole human. Moles are one of the very rare creatures in the world that can smell in stereo. So not only would you be able to detect odors immediately, but also the direction they traveled from. So if you were a mole person stuck in an elevator where someone let one rip, well, you'd know exactly who to blame. Interestingly enough, the mole is classified as a venomous animal as it contains a toxin in its saliva, which is used to paralyze worms for consumption. So it's only natural to assume that this trait may be passed on to the user of the Mogu Mogu no Mi, albeit in a more potent form. In summary, the Mogu Mogu no Mi provides its user with quite a competent ability. Becoming a mole has no inherent drawbacks, although the benefits gained are very focused in one particular area. Essentially, if you have no interest in digging, then this probably is not the fruit for you. However, if you do possess a fine enthusiasm for making holes or tunnels, well, then this is your perfect fit. And with that, we are going to commit the Mogu Mogu no me to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia.
Next week, we are finally going to be traveling back into the domain of the Paramecia in order to examine the super, super spiky Toge Toge no Mi. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also check out my Teespring store for shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment Comment with your thoughts on the Mogu Mogu no Mi. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.